the sword of society wields a crime. Fooled by the aroma of freedom, ignorance, only on occasion do we mumble. Why? Magazines decree perfect color and size. Pages brush the hands of female immigrants. The sword of society wields a crime. Men awarded crashing applause, easy. Women like slivers of glory, desperate. Only on occasion do we babble. Why? Derogative purring, insecure and shy, girl in a man's world, misshapen, ill-fit. The sword of society wields a crime. The absence of freedom, a dress must be mine. Thoughts misplaced, replaced by elegance and grace. Only on occasion do I protest why. You see, he is to him as him is to he, but she is to her as she is to him. The sword of society wields a crime. Only on occasion is it questioned. Why? I am to myself exactly who I want to be today in many ways than one. I would like to eat more healthy and I would like to go to the gym more, but I stand in front of you, a proud young Middle Eastern woman who thinks she is just as capable as any man. Stereotypes of the perfect women overarch our society. We see it in the 1950s where women wear aprons and have their hair done, or the 21st century business mogul crazed with power. But the overall stereotype that rests on the shoulders of all women is one that puts us in a hardwired metal trash can and is, that labels us not good enough. The stereotype that proves that men are superior to women. I am a believer in equality and a proud activist and feminist. I stand before you today in solidarity with my beliefs. As a woman, I love challenge, I love arguments, and I love fights. So I took it upon myself to break the boundaries enforced by stereotypical gender norms. Behind me are a few of the simple tasks that are male-oriented. I asked my boyfriend to prom and I took him out on a date and I insisted to pay the check. I, oh, sorry. No, no. Okay, I learned to change a light bulb that was perfectly fine and I changed the gas tank at my own home. The inability to change a light bulb or pay, on a check, pay a check for a date might seem a little insignificant when you're looking at the bigger picture. The picture, bigger picture being that some women are stereotypically deprived of education, such as girls in Afghanistan, South Sudan, and Nigeria, according to the World Bank, where it's culturally appropriate for boys to have this priority. However, in taking these small steps, I'm trying to attack the ideology that these jobs are not women's jobs and the ideology behind the fact that men are better than women, and that women should be able to change their own light bulbs and gas tanks. I stand before you as a woman who wants to change the way that women are seen, not only to society, but to themselves. I have no urgency to yell at you, scream at you, come at you with violence and anger, or tell you what to think. But I believe in the power of small triumphs and processes, like wearing pants and enjoying it, like doing all the things that are my triumphs, that prove I am a woman, that break the mold of what women should be and prove what they could be. I went from changing a perfectly good light bulb for the heck of it to changing my own gas tank to prove that I am worthy. To be a woman is to be confident, to be patient, to be kind, and to exude all the ideals that you believe are necessary. But essentially, a woman is a man, much like a man is a woman. My beard will never come in, and I'll keep my hair long because I like it that way. But I personally prefer to think that I'm just as good as any man. So please believe in me. Thank you.